Hey guys, have small traps or having issues building bigger traps? In this video, I'm going to give you three different ways to approach trap training that will help you build bigger, thicker, more noticeable trapezius muscles. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to check out my new book called Massive Iron. It is linked below. If you're not satisfied with your strength and muscle building progress, please buy my book. It'll help you maximize the muscle building process. It'll help you maximize the strength building process and it'll get you up to speed in no time. So let's talk about traps training. Up until five years ago, I had very mediocre traps. I had trained since 1986, but still 21 years later, despite all the mind muscle connection shrugs, my traps were unimpressive to say the least. Over the last five years, I've gotten very aggressive about my traps training and I've developed a number of approaches that I think are beneficial for just about everyone. I'm going to give you three approaches in this video. It doesn't matter which approach you try. You can try them all, you can rotate them, or you can just stick with one. It doesn't matter. But I recommend um, committing to traps training at least two years hardcore. Try to work your traps at least every four, five, six days with one or a, or a, um, a couple of these variations. Um, the first one I want to uh, present is called something I uh, call power shrug hell. Here's how it works. You grab a barbell, you set it in the squat rack or in a rack, and you do you start with two plates on each or, or two plates, one plate on each side, 135 pounds, and you proceed to do five, eight, or ten power shrugs. A power shrug is an explosive shrug up like this. You can do five, you can do eight, you can do ten rep sets. Whatever you're in the mood for on that given day, it doesn't matter. So you start with two plates on each side and you do five explosive, powerful shrugs, power shrugs. Then you slap another plate on each side, you're up to 225, and you do another set of power shrugs for five, eight, or ten reps. You continue this pattern of adding a plate to each side until you can't reach your rep um, goal for that set, whether you're doing five, eight, or ten reps. So you keep adding plates until you can't hit that uh, rep goal, that rep uh, number of reps per set that you're working with. I've gotten up, when I started doing power shrugs, I was very weak. Um, probably, you know, working with 315, 365. Last year I got up to um, 765 for a 12 rep set of power shrugs. So this is an excellent, power shrugs are an excellent trap builder. Excellent, excellent trap builder. You got to give this a try. This is called power shrug hell. Start with two, one plate on each side. Do your power shrugs. Slap another plate on. Do your power shrugs. Keep going up. Keep slapping plates until you can't reach that number of reps per set that you're working with. The second method I have is a static hold followed by rep sets. So what you do is you grab some real heavy uh, dumbbells. Um, if you're pretty, you know, if you consider yourself fairly weak, I would start with 50 pound dumbbells or 60 pound dumbbells. If you consider yourself fairly strong, start with 100s. So I want I want you to wear lifting straps or versa grips for this. You're not trying to work your forearms or your grips. You're trying to work your traps. You're trying to build your traps. So use grips, use straps for this variation. If your grip is weak, work your grip later in the workout. So anyway, strap yourself on a couple of dumbbells and here's how a set, this is a single set, works. Okay, you do five power shrug reps with those dumbbells, okay? You do five reps and then you do a static hold while still holding on to the dumbbells for a five second count. So you do five power shrug reps, and then you do a, a five count, a slow five count. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and then you count to five, and then you do five more power shrug reps, okay? And then you do another five-second static hold. And then you do finish off with five more power shrugs, and then another five-second static hold. That's one set. So you're going to alternate during that one set of five power shrug reps, a five second slow count, five power shrug reps, a five second slow count, five more power shrug reps, 
and a five second slow count. That is one set. Do that for three, four sets per workout. That'll work your uh, tries. That'll work your traps in an effective manner. The last trap builder I have is a method of working the traps when you're doing deadlifts. So you're kind of combining deadlifts and traps into one uber trap destroying set of doom. So what you're going to do is you're going to work when you're working with deadlift a deadlift weight around 65, 70, 75, even 80 percent of your one rep max. You're going to do a deadlift rep. OK. And then at the top, you're going to do three to five power shrug reps. Then you're going to set the weight down, reset your form, do your next deadlift rep and then do at the top. You're going to do three to five power shrug reps. This works best with three to five rep deadlift sets or even heavy singles. So you want to do your deadlift rep and then do three to five power shrug reps, set the weight down, catch your breath for a split second, reset your form, deadlift, do three to five power shrug reps at the top and uh, continue that pattern for the number of reps per set. So there you have it guys. Those are three, three amazing potent ways of building bigger traps. You don't just have to go to the gym and do boring old, the same old, you know, power shrugs or, you know, deadlifts or whatever. These are three quality variations. They break up the monotony a little bit and uh, I guarantee they work. So guys, again, focus on hitting your traps every four, five or six days using one or a couple of these variations. Give this a couple of years, keep slapping weight on the bar because the traps can take a lot of punishment. They are a muscle group that is incredibly strong, so you want to use as much weight as possible and you want to challenge those traps as much as possible. So guys, I hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, there's a link below to a Q&A. Come on over, ask me any questions you want on strength training, muscle building, diet, nutrition, supplementation, or motivation. I also want to remind you to check out my new book called Massive Iron that is linked below as well. That'll help you build as much muscle and strength as possible, help you build a base. So if you're unsatisfied with your results, check out my book, please. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.